Oh God, I think it's gonna probably be different uh, for me and for Dion. One of the things was is uh, about halfway into filming, and we shot this film in 16 days, 18 days. Yeah. Um, you know, during a global pandemic, so that was scary enough in itself. But in the middle of shooting, I broke my kneecap. Oh God. Uh, and so. <laughs> So any any scene that involved running was the scariest <laughs> film after that point for me. Uh, I think for me, there's a there's a moment where the actress Ruby Modine, they're all standing in the kitchen, and she basically gets snatched out of the kitchen down a flight of stairs. And uh, I know that was one of the hardest stunts for us to pull off, but it was also one of the scariest things when I watched it through the monitor. Because I was just like, oh, man, like it looked so real and it felt so real. I actually thought she was, she disappeared for a moment. Like, and I was like, was Ruby okay? <laughs> and she was like, I'm okay, Dion. Great and, uh, actor. So that was one of the scariest moments for me. But it was a, just all around just a great movie to make, a fun movie to make. And it's even funner to watch. Man, I think the overall agenda of why we made the movie, uh, a lot of people are just now finding out that this was the first movie that was up and running during the global pandemic. And... Um, it, it started with me and Joe making phone calls and asking people to just come to this abandoned cabin and, and make this film. And uh, so I think now, historically, every time we look at it and the people that understand the story are like, wow, this is pretty amazing that you guys were able to do this at a time that everything was kind of blown up. No one knew if they could shoot a movie or not. And um, we delivered this movie fear. And one of the things that people really have to see this film for is that something that Dion often brings up and that it's, it's easy to be tough about COVID now because we understand it. But when we were shooting it, we didn't know what COVID was exactly, mm. how long it lived for, what substances it could, sur it could survive on. So a lot of what you see in that movie of the unknown is happening in real time. And in some ways it's documented within this horror drama. Absolutely. Oh man, cold croissants. <laughs> if you give me <laughs> No, no. <laughs> Not cold croissant. <laughs> well, for me, I mean, one of the big things that I'm afraid of is letting people down. And I think that the more responsibility mm. you have in life, um, the, 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 the higher you rise, the more it's like, oh, I, I want to make sure I take care of the family. Oh, does this person need a favor? I don't want to let this person down. You don't want to let your audience down, um, some of those fears. But I think that something that Dion often brings up, and I think it's a general thing of staying present uh, and knowing that the, the joyous moments are there so you can celebrate them in the present time and knowing that the bad ones are only temporary. Yeah, I, w I would say my, my biggest fear um, is time, uh, which is, you know, always wondering like how, you know, where you'll be in a couple of years or a decade from now, if you will be here. Um, and we were just saying earlier, like allowing different fears to creep into your body, whatever it might be. It might be something physical. It might be, you know, a, a snake, a reptile, animal, whatever that is, those fears are what hold us back often. So what the movie explores is, can you overcome your fear? Can you get past your fear? And once you do that, it really allows you to be free. And uh, I think the movie has like an incredible global message for just that. One of the best parts is, is that the movie kind of gives you a bit of a template, a bit of a blueprint of how to defeat fear mm. in a real way. I mean, I think that's why people um, are taking this movie so much to heart and people love it so much is that it's not just kind of like throwing an idea out there. It's an idea and then a pathway of how to defeat fear. And really that's with faith and love. Mm. Told you. <laughs> Thanks for watching the You Interview channel. With over 3,000 original celebrity videos, we have one of the largest collections of celebrity interviews anywhere. So remember to like and comment on our videos and subscribe to the channel. If you want to get more involved, you can become a member of the channel. Membership has its perks. You can see exclusive celebrity videos and get the opportunity to ask our celebrity guests questions. We can't wait to hear from you.